Welcome. This video is part of the Service Desk Configuration Series, basically setting up your Service Desk module to be used within your PSA. This video is focused in on the CRM and more specifically just reviewing the accounts and contacts. Why are they important? You need to have customers and contacts in the system so you can open up tickets for them. So they can send emails in and create tickets that way. I'm logged into the PSA. I'm going to go up to the top and click on the module, the CRM module, which stands for Customer Relationship Management. I'm going to take my mouse and go over to the folders and click on the Accounts folder. Now in the Accounts folder, you're going to store all different types of accounts, customers, prospects, vendors, partners, anybody you would need to call uh, representing your company. I'm going to go down and open up a customer. I can double click on the line or click the pencil, either way. Up top is your high level information, your account name. Okay, so it's Acme uh, Company. Boom, they're in the system. What type will make them a client? You can put their website, what day you acquired them. You could uh, classify what type of business. Are they education, government, you know, barrister, medical? They happen to be a manufacturing company. Uh, you'd want to set their currency. Yeah, you, you know, basically, and we'll go with pounds. Oh, so this is the high level information. Down here, we get more specific. Location, the first tab. Uh, what is the location, the physical address of your customer? You can have multiple, so you could support one account. You could have multiple addresses and support that customer. The first one out here that says main, that has a, when you open it up, it has a shipping address, physical address, and it has a billing. That billing has an address. That address will go on any invoice generated out of your PSA. You would put your account contacts. These are the people that are calling you, that are sending in emails to create tickets. Now Gary can send an email in because we have them in our PSA. If Betty from Acme were to send it in, it would not create a ticket. It would go to the service desk module, unknown tickets folder. We can A, add Betty here, so she can send emails in and create tickets, or we can go up to the email domain, hit the add button, and add the company's domain, and we're all set to go. So if Betty and anybody else from Acme sends in an email, it will create a ticket in your system. It will add that contact uh, underneath the Acme company record. Great way to manage accounts that are large or have heavy turnover. Other things to think about on an account is your tax setting. If your labor on your support ticket work is taxed, we're going to need to go in and set the sales tax or your value added tax. Okay? Uh, you can link accounts. If you store in the CRM all the different internet providers in your area, you could come in here for Acme and link, in this case PulseNet or it could be Spectrum, you could link it so you could quickly open up that particular account. Okay, so you need to get your accounts in here first then contacts, and then any contacts that you add, there's a separate folder here on the left that will display any and all contacts in your system. So it's important, an important part of setting up your service desk module is getting your accounts here and understanding the different features on the account that'll help you and make it easier to create these uh, support tickets. The follow-up video to the CRM is how to add these, how to import your accounts and contacts. And there are a number of ways it's really easy. There'll be two videos on the Service Desk module. One, how to set up or pre-configure a lot of the drop-down values, ticket types, issues, sub-issues, priorities. 